Well, today's the official start of hurricane season, and our weather team has been helping you get ready all week. Yeah, tonight, WBZ Chief Meteorologist Eric Fisher takes a closer look at what we should expect this season. Well, just like in winter, we can read some atmospheric tea leaves before a season begins and try to figure out what this year's hurricane season will look like. Now, a huge story in weather this year is expected to be a growing El Nino in the Pacific, which may become a strong event with a ribbon of very warm water off of South America. El Nino is important because it creates a lot of wind shear in spots where tropical cyclones form. And hurricanes, they don't like wind shear. That may cut down on some activity. But there's a catch. It mostly affects the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. That's good news along the Gulf Coast, but it may not matter much for us on the East Coast. And then we look out in the Atlantic. Now, water temperatures in the tropics, they're well above normal right now and signal more activity than usual this season. The monsoon in Africa is also expected to be a busy one this year, which means lots of thunderstorms headed out over the water as seedlings for tropical storms. So for us in New England, I think we should stay vigilant. We can't assume that El Nino will produce a quiet season and spare us. And we've been spared, relatively speaking, for a long time. The last hurricane that hit here was Bob in 1991. Now, the average return period for hurricanes here is 15 years. So we're absolutely on borrowed time. And it's been nearly 70 years now since we've had a major Category 3 hurricane or stronger with Carol and Edna in 1954. So the message is always this. Prepare. Think about where would you go if you couldn't be in your home? Or what would you do if the power went out for weeks at a time? These are never things that you want to start thinking about days before a hurricane strikes. And sooner or later, our run of luck will eventually run out.